The Tang Dynasty Tour Chapter 2 Chang'an in a Dream Section 11 Delicious Food and Family Affairs Yunya received the warmest welcome at the gate of his house. The whole family welcomed the master back to the mansion. As soon as he got off the horse, the little girl surrounded their brother and told him about the bad guys who bullied them before, who were now kneeling outside the door begging for forgiveness. Yunya saw them at the door, of course, he knew what was going on. Beating up Hilao Er and the limelight in the court today caused them great trouble, and they were worried that the Yun mansion would settle old scores. There was no escape, no avoidance, only to come to apologize, hoping to quell the Yun family's anger. Standing tall, the vision is different. In the past, the Yun family was just a wealthy family in Chang'an City, with hundreds of acres of ancestral fields, three or four shops, and several male members of the Yun family serving as minor officials in the government, which could be regarded as having nothing to do with the world. It was only because of the involvement of the famous Yun Ding Sing rebellion that they suffered this great disaster. Who is Yun Ding Sing, the father in law of Sui Prince Yang Yong, an ugly person with a bad character? is known for his corruption and fickleness in Chang'an. When he was in the limelight, even Emperor Li Er had served under him. Seeing that Yang Yang was in trouble, he resolutely joined the Sui Yang Emperor Yang Guang's camp, and he was more concerned about chasing and killing his son-in-law's remnants than Yang Guang. He killed the two sons his daughter gave birth to for Yang Yang. Even his nephew could be killed, which was a real beastly act. Later, he was unlucky. When the villain was proud, he offended too many people, so no one stood up to speak for him, and he escaped without a trace. He escaped, and the Yun family in Chang'an City was in great trouble. Regardless of whether they were involved or not, as long as they were surnamed Yun, they would be attacked. In addition, Yang Suangan rebelled, and Yun Ding Xin was involved again, which doomed the tragic fate of the Yun family. The male members were almost slaughtered, and the women and property were looted by others, and their fate was tragic. The person Yun Ye wanted to kill the most was Yun Ding Xin, the culprit. If you don't have the wisdom to match your ambition, don't play infernal affairs, or her others and yourself. Half of the reason I came to the Tang Dynasty for no reason may be because God couldn't bear to see the tragic situation of the Yun family and brought me back to rescue these women and children. Of course, the old lady's prayers day and night also played a role in fueling the flames. Spit out what you ate from me, and return what you took from me. If you bully me, you must have the consciousness of being bullied by me. Kneeling at the door and hoping to be forgiven too young, too simple. Without saying a word, he picked up Xiao Bei. The girl was squeezed outside and cried wow wow. He wiped Xiao Bei's tears and said to the housekeeper and, find out the details of the Yun family's previous property, calculate how much income there should be over the years, and let them pay double. After finishing speaking, he took a group of little girls back to the mansion. This trivial matter did not require the Marquis to come forward, and a housekeeper in the family was enough. Now, his top priority was to see how the fat pig was being cleaned up, and the whole family was waiting to eat. The housekeeper and also felt that it was a bit embarrassing for the dignified Marquis to deal with such a matter, so she hurriedly went to discuss it with the old lady to see if there was any forgotten Yun family property. The servants closed the gate of the Yun mansion, and the merchants and minor officials outside knelt more respectfully. The Yun family master was back. 
A big fat pig was hung on the shelf outside the kitchen, and the butcher cleaned it up cleanly. Yunye directed the butcher to cut the pork into pieces, spare ribs, tenderloin, pork belly, and fat were specially left out, and then found the hind leg meat with fat and lean and ordered it to be chopped into minced meat for later use. Four pigs trotters are not enough, so Yunye bought a cart of pigs trotters in Zishi early on. If Lao Chen knew that he made delicious food and didn't give it to him, most people couldn't bear the rage. To avoid a few beatings, let's make his share together. The cooking utensils made in the military camp had been sent back long ago. The dishes of the Tang dynasty were either boiled or roasted, or eaten raw, or something like hoeing, which was unhygienic. The parasites in it could not be killed, and various strange diseases would be contracted. Just thinking about pork tapeworms crawling around in one's stomach made one's hair stand on end. Even in later generations, people were not reassured by sanitary inspections, let alone now. Stir-frying probably originated in the Song dynasty, which was an era that paid attention to food and clothing, and was extremely rich in material resources. It was a paradise for the literati. As long as one was not an angry youth, it was the first choice era for time travelers. Since I'm in the Tang dynasty, I have to do everything myself. If there is no walk, I have to make one. If there is no shovel, I have to make one. If there are no condiments, I have to find them myself. If there is no message, I cannot make it now, so I can only boil chicken soup. If there is no soy sauce, I can brew it when I return to the manor. When I was young in the countryside, I had already learned how to do it, so it is not difficult. If there are no green vegetables, this will be a life-threatening matter. Although there is a Wen Tang Jian, it only serves a limited number of imperial family members. Even the crown prince does not have a meal every day. As a mere marquis, I cannot even think about it. I only have radishes, lotus roots, and a plate of garlic sprouts contributed by Xiao Ya. This is the little girl's favorite thing, and because her brother does not eat, she generously contributed to it. Then there is tofu and a dozen kinds of dried vegetables. Today, the main dish is pork, fish, and mutton. The pig's feet were boiled in a casserole. Ten casseroles were used. The water was boiled over a high fire, poured out, and then new water was added. Ginger, green onions, and garlic were added, and the condiments were put in a gauze bag and simmered over a low fire. Yun Yes and stood behind and watched carefully, and also called Run Niang to record it. The old lady said that she could not bear to see her grandson suffer in the kitchen, so she did not come. Yunye could not understand why it was so hard to cook a few bites of food. After two hours of work, it was time to finish. Yunye packed two portions of each of the prepared pig's feet, lotus root braised pork, braised lion's head, and sweet and sour spare ribs. He also packed the fried twists, oil cakes, and chicken pieces, and ordered the housekeeper to send them to the Cheng and Niu mansions as a token of his appreciation. The group of little girls behind him had been eating non-stop since Yun Ye started cooking. The ant could not stop them, saying that it was not good for girls to develop a habit of being greedy. Yunye did not care. When he was young, he had often stolen food while his mother was cooking. Had he not grown up well not to mention that the few younger sisters had suffered. Just thinking about how they had served their masters at the age of five or six and had not eaten or dressed warmly for more than a year, he could not bear to think about it. How could he care about whether they stole food or not? 
the blood sausage was stuffed, the five spice sausage was stuffed, and the pig's kidneys were fried into waste flowers. The two large tables were full, and the old lady was stunned. There was a sound of saliva being sucked in the dining room, and the sound of people fighting for food in the outer courtyard could be heard from afar. Zhuang Santing's scolding voice was particularly loud, which showed that the battle was fierce. Yet er, did you and your master usually eat such food the old lady found it somewhat unbelievable. The braised lion's head was the most appetizing, the sweet and sour pork loin was also sweet and sour, and the pig's feet were soft, tender, and fragrant. Taking a bite of it made one feel satisfied from the bottom of one's heart. What is this it's just some crude home-cooked dishes. When your grandson grows the few missing spices, you can try them again. Yunye boasted. The exquisite food of later generations could probably only be savored in dreams. He was only a half-baked chef, and it was no problem to make a few home-cooked dishes. It was a dream to make northern and southern dishes. Yunye was already full, and now he was diligently serving the old lady. The other elders were not left out. The little girls each held a pig's foot and gnawed on it, their faces covered in oil. He was really afraid that they would burst, so he ordered the servants to bring back some hawthorn water to help them digest. The rice was not touched, but the dishes were eaten up. The whole family was beaming with joy and satisfaction. The ant covered her mouth burped in embarrassment, and smoothed her chest before saying, No wonder ye or didn't eat. After eating such food, other dishes really can't be eaten. Yet Gior was enjoying himself with the old immortal. Ha ha, what my aunt said is right. My family was suffering, but nephew was enjoying himself all over the world with his teacher. It was indeed a bit unreasonable, but since I am back, there is no reason for me to enjoy myself and for you to suffer. Who owes my family's life, who owes my family's money, all of them should be counted one by one. Don't be merciful. Since His Majesty has made a great show of promoting me, he will not stop me from taking revenge. It's up to you. If some elders and sisters plan to return to their husbands' families, tell Grandma, I'm not an unreasonable person. They ruthlessly drove my Yun family's daughters out, so they had to take them back with great fanfare. Except for my Yun family, they don't even think about coming to the door. If they are humiliated when they return to their husband's family, I will make it difficult for them to live or die. Just now in the kitchen, my aunt said that several aunts and sisters had children at home and wanted to go back because their husband's family came to pick them up. Finally, they couldn't let go of their flesh and blood. The man apologized and softened, and all the sins he had committed over the years were forgotten. I won't go, brother, I won't go back, Xiao Shi hugged Yun Ye's leg and burst into tears. The second aunt looked at them with a troubled expression. Of course, Xiao Shi won't go. She will live with her brother in the future. I will arrange her marriage in the future. If they are tired of living, they will come to the house to ask for someone. Yun Ye showed no mercy. After finishing speaking to the second aunt, he bid farewell to the old lady and left the dining room with the eight younger ones to digest in the garden. Old E.R., what's wrong with you why don't you stay in the Yun mansion and go back to suffer ye or is kind, like Xiao Shi, and is filial. In the past few days since he came back, he has treated us as elders and respected us. If you do this, Aren't you poking his heart? The eldest aunt was very angry. 
The old lady stopped the eldest's complaint, the road is your own, and only your feet know if the shoes fit. Since you want to go back, then go back. Your husband's family has two more sons, so it's reasonable to be concerned. You don't have to worry about Yejeer. He is young and a general, so his temper is naturally not good. He will arrange Xiaoxi very well, much better than following you in a small family. Isn't your husband's family just seeing that the Yun family has risen again and has the intention of climbing up with you there, yet Jeer will always cut you some slack. Take 300 guan of money when you leave. This is your nephew's private money for you, just in case. After finishing speaking, she got up and left the dining table, and was helped by the maid to the garden.